There's a new feature in Excel 2010 to help you filter your pivot tables. This new feature is called a slicer. To add a slicer, click on any cell in the pivot table first. Then click on the Options tab under Pivot Table Tools on the ribbon. Now click on the Insert Slicer button in the Sort and Filter group. Excel opens a dialog box with a list of all the available fields in the pivot table. Check the boxes for each of the fields that you want to use for filtering in this table. Let's use Region, Gender, and Position for our filters. Then click OK. A separate slicer is created for each field you selected. In this case, we get three. Slicers are graphic objects in Excel and can be moved around the worksheet. They can even be copied and pasted to other worksheets in the workbook. They can also be resized and organized however you like. Each slicer contains buttons for the different values of its field. You can filter the pivot table simply by clicking on the categories you want displayed. For example, I can click on the South region to display the average employee salaries in the South. I can also select Females to display average salaries for females only. If you want to select multiple adjacent categories, you should hold down the shift key as you make your selections. For example, I can select Midwest, Northeast, and Southern regions. If you want to select multiple categories that are not adjacent, you should hold down the control key as you make your selections. Here I will select Administrative and Operations positions. Slicers are pretty simple to install and use. Once you get the hang of it, filtering your pivot tables will become a snap, especially for more complex table designs. In the next video, you'll learn how to turn your pivot table into a graphic with pivot charts. I'll see you there.